yes guys welcome back to the channel welcome back people to another video and what might hopefully be the start of a new series on the channel welcome to carefree reacts people in this show we're going to be reacting as the word suggests to the best videos and the best tiktoks all about our football club all depending on the topic and today today we're going to be reacting to manchester united fans crying, moaning, infighting, all over a failed Jadon Sancho hate watch and the perfect failure. I don't think we could have asked for a better cameo from Sancho unless he got a goal on top. But man was just dribbling past players for fun. We were told he was terrible at take-ons. The passing, the weight of pass, the decision-making, ah, oh, sensational. Got an assist, basically dropped a 9 out of 10, won a man of the match in 45 minutes flat and dropped a left-wing performance that I haven't even seen since the great Eden was at this football club. Now, I ain't trying to make comparisons to Hazard. Forget all of that. We are not doing that this early. But in terms of performance, oh, Eden would have been proud of that cameo. He would have been proud of it. But you lot aren't here to just hear from me. You're here to listen to United fans and to drink in their tears. So, we will start. First off, shout out to Saeed TV. We're going to bring up his video later on. But we're going to go into a few of the fans reacting on TikTok. I want to start off with this one because this one is the braziest head loss. No, wait, not even not this one. This is the one I'll come back to afterwards. What an L. What an L. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There you are. There you are. Perfect. Oh, no, not this again. Not this again, man. Like, no. Man United, thank you. Are we being for real? Chelsea. By the way, having the same numbers is the sort of poetic justice that only football can bring. That is brilliant. Fan base is something else. Like, when you deep it for a minute, Santos had one good game in the Premier League since 2022. That's two years, brother. All right, you played decent against... Bournemouth, who are not the biggest of team, but he played well and got man of the match. Fair play. Didn't Bournemouth like win three 0 at their ground last season? Because I remember that was a few days. I think that was a few days after we lost at Old Trafford. I remember doing, I yeah, because I did a watch along for that on here, and I was losing my head every time they bagged the goal. And I want to talk about little old Bournemouth. Little old Bournemouth dunked on you at your own ground. It's all mad. Then we have Mason Mount, who's won silverware at United. That means something. We're not. Hmm? He's won silverware at Manchester United. That means something. Like, okay, I mean, that's fine and everything, but I mean, we're acting like Sancho hasn't hasn't won, won a trophy at, at Manchester United. Are, are we rewriting history now? Is this what we're doing? I'm going to count the Carabao Cup that, that Sancho won. Did it didn't even play well in the final? But Mount and his. Huh? We're not. Wait, wait. Uh, let me bring that back. It means something. We're not gonna count the Carabao Cup that, that Sancho won. As he didn't even play well in the final. But Mount. He didn't even play well in the final. This is what we're doing. Okay, cool. Because here's the thing. I know Sancho didn't play a lot in the run to the final. I'll, I'll bring up the stats. I'll bring up the stats. But to run this is very shameless. EFL Cup, thirty-four minutes. This man played 63 minutes. In, no, he played 27 minutes in the semi-final second leg against Forest. Don't know why this is lagging. And then he played seven minutes off the bench in the final. Overall, you are looking at 34 minutes in the Carabao Cup. Now, shall we turn this to Mason Mount? Who are contributed to the FA Cup final in, apparently. Ah, there you are. 16 minutes. 16 minutes, 15 minutes off the bench against Liverpool, extra time, and one minute, one minute in the final, one minute, Jadon Sancho played 34 minutes and still had more minutes than Mason Mount did in the entire run. So either both of them did nothing or both of them contributed. We, we can't be running this garbage. Come on, you salty United fans. You need to be doing better than this. But we'll keep it rolling. We'll keep it rolling. His first season has won a trophy at United. I could play well against Bournemouth for 45 minutes. 
And it's like, oh, thank you, United. I don't know what is worse yet. Ch yes, literally, thank you, United, because like, our other options were Mudrick. Neto feels more comfortable on the right-hand side and Sancho has an opportunity to make the left side his own as long as he just replicates performances like that. So, yes, thank you very much, Manchester United. Chelsea fans or AEW fans, because they're both literally like one another, if you don't know what they're talking about. It's comparing Mason Mount, who who has been at us for a season... That compared us to AEW, bro. That's crazy. Who, who has been at us for a season... And it's one of a trophy. Sancho, who's had one 45-minute game against Bournemouth, and now he's deemed to be world-class. And the Chelsea fan base confused me with stuff like this. And you know... Wait, we're the ones confused... I just... He's been praising Mount for winning a trophy he contributed nothing to, and he's acting like Sancho didn't win nothing there. They're literally one for one. This head loss is insane. So what? It makes sense. I really think that the Chelsea fan base are in a league of their own because, mate, then this is just something else that I haven't seen in quite some time. Oh, God bless him, man. God bless him. You you can tell the whole Sancho situation pissed him off. I can understand if you didn't want to give him to us, but we don't need to start rewriting history and acting like Sancho never won anything. And if you want to talk contribution, my only energy is... If Mount contributed to the FA Cup win, Sancho contributed to the Carabao. Or they both didn't contribute. They both played barely any minutes. So it's one or the other. It's generally one or the other. What's the next clip? What is the next clip? Also, guys, hit the likes if you haven't done so already, guys. Hit the likes. Bye, What's this one? Do you know what? I'm actually wound up. Watching Jaden Sancho in this interview, the confidence, the arrogance after he's had what two three years of mediocrity at united as a united fan i think we're justified to feel a little bit pissed off at the fact that he can come on 45 minutes in this game get man of the match performance on his chelsea debut and look at the confidence with him they're pissed off that he looks confident after dropping a man in a match again generational head loss to win Jayden, when you have to sort of dig in and hold on and and hit him with a sucker punch yeah, definitely. Um, first of all, it's amazing to make my debut for Chelsea. Um, you know, just being back playing, I'm very grateful. Um, but other than that, I thought the team played very well. Um, we we dug in to, until the end, and you know, we're just happy with the three points. Where was that Sancho at United? Well, that that just felt like one of the most like media trained answers you could get. Just happy with the three points. Came on, did my thing. These men are going to hate Sancho so much this season. I hope he has a good season. I really do, because the whole of Manchester United is wishing for him to fail. I really hope he balls out this year. All you got to do is replicate these sorts of performances, and you're good. And you're good. Also, I know most of the men them are here to, to re-watch the Saeed video, so we're going to reel that up. Also, the video is down in the description below, so everybody head to Saeed TV and show him some love. I'm sure the majority of you are subbed to him already. If you're not, what are you doing, guys? Like, uh, top three Man United content creators. Goes without saying. But let's get into this. Because I heard this was some brazy head loss. I've only seen like a minute of this. Chelsea, taking the fucking piss out of my football club. Manchester United is Chelsea's little bitch. We've gave them Sancho. And the transfer could be 23 million. They gave us Mason Dodd. Fucking plastic fucking footballer who every time he gets on the pitch breaks down. We haven't even got a position for him. They give him the number fucking seven shirt. And then Sancho comes on tonight, puts the ball there to Nkuku. Bam, winner. In a game where they don't fucking deserve to win. For 60 minutes, 65 minutes, Bournemouth, Ariola, fucking random. The only difference is that their manager has got a bench. Ariola hasn't got that level of a bench. I'm telling you, I hate fucking Chelsea. And Chelsea fans... Chelsea. Love that. That's how you know we're starting to get back to where we should be when man are starting to hate us again. Shout out to Nuruddin, though. I understand this head loss. They gave him the number, the number seven unwarranted. For no reason. No reason at all. Now, maybe the number 19 was free. No, Varane had it. There, there was probably some other number three. And they just gave him the seven. For what? Fans that want a nut watch along. 
I want problems. Come to my fucking channel, right? and I'll tell you what's, what's up. Again, sub to United Real Therapy as well. I think that's the name of Nuruddin's channel. I'm going to leave that in the description too. Everybody sub to Nuruddin. He said he wants problems. Let's give him problems. My guy, though. Big up Nuruddin, my G. Because they sold me a dud, mate. A dud that we haven't even got any position for. And we let Sancho go to them. That's why I'm, I, I hate, M I hate Chelsea, mate. Though, I don't care. I hate Chelsea. The and then they him. gave him fucking number seven shit as well. It's embarrassing the football club. Fuck Ineos. Fuck Ten Hag. What are you meant to do, though? Fuck what these bricks. Why do? are they sad? No, no, no. Now, nah, mate, get, get, get him out of football club, mate. Take that number seven shit off him. Get him out of football club. Get him out of football club. Go and buy a player that we can play a position who can actually hold down a position. For that, this has turned into a mount run. You know what? I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Money. And we're letting them have Sanjo for 23 million. And apparently, some person told me that we might be contributing to these wages. Shame on United, mate. After a day, you know, get spoiled like that. And Chelsea fans, I want those problems. Come to my fucking channel if you want some beef. Come there now. Ah, uh, ads. Uh, you know what? Take the money. Uh, take, take the ad revenue. Go for it, man. It's all. Good. Reality is, guys, man. Chelsea were lacking inspiration. They were lacking any sort of idea. Sancho came on second half and changed the game. I have to be totally honest with you. He changed the game. Cole Palmer wasn't really involved in the game. You know, I mean, Ankuku got the goal. Sancho got the assist. Felix was poor second half. Chelsea didn't really have a great game. You know, Bournemouth, fair play to Areola. Nuruddin raves about him. He talks about him. They they were excellent today. They did everything. They just didn't have the final end product. And they missed a penalty. But mark my, my words, man. United selling Sancho. Whether you think Sancho is a shit player or not, yeah. And whether you think he's inconsistent or not. Selling him to Chelsea is the wrong damn move. Especially when we've got Mason. For you. For you. Not for us. But to be fair to Saeed, he's spitting facts in this one. Sancho is the one that saved the game again. Thank you to Manchester United. Thank you, my bro, my buddy, my pal, my slime, my dog. Big up, bro. We needed that. But yeah, not the right move for you guys. Ha <laughs> ha. I know. They gave us Mason Mount. 60 fucking million. Rip off. Give him the number seven shit. Let that sink in, you dickhead. Stop. Where are you, top reds? Where are you? Damn. It's mad. You're seeing like two varying reactions. Saeed's trying to keep composure. He's pissed off, but he's calm. He's trying to like maintain his calmness in front of the camera. Nuruddin's like, fuck all of this, bro. Fuck Ineos. Fuck Mason Mount. Fuck the Glazers. Fuck everybody who wanted Sancho gone. Fuck you, Sancho, too. Everything. It's just pure head loss. This is a beautiful dynamic between the pair of them. 24 million for a guy that we bought 70 for 75. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, they spent like 70 mil on him and we're bagging him for 25 and he flopped over there. That is mad. At least with like Havertz, for example, we can say we got a decent amount of money back for him, even though he stunk. Mount, Cobham grad, free profit, pure profit, all of that. This. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. You taking the piss? Yeah, like I said, man, you know what I mean? Chelsea were poor today. You know, they needed a bit of magic. They needed a bit of inspiration. And they got that through Sancho and Nkunku. You know what I'm saying to you, man? It was a very, very poor game from Chelsea. I don't care what anybody said. I thought there was bright sparks in, in Viego and, 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 and whatnot. There was bright sparks in them players over there. But all in all, if I'm being truly honest with you, it was a very, very poor game. From Chelsea, man. Cole Palmer was in the game. Felix, like I said to you, was in the game. The Madawaka got stink and hooked. You know what I mean? Those poor, poor individual performances. Uh, Their defense, I thought for me, Colwell and them, man, they held out for me. They were they were quite good in that aspect. Keep as well Cole. did well in what he had to do. But overall, man, Chelsea football club, man. Oh. Like what are we like genuinely? There's one team that honestly, man, I can't stand, man. Like them man stole two Premier League trophies of us. You know what I mean? Like Yo, bro, like... Stole? What do you mean, stole? We were the better team by a mile. We got a defensive record in 4 5 that people still can't touch. These men are saying that, then they robbed two Prems off us. 6 7 they got lucky with injuries to Petr Cech. 
Kudachini and John Terry. And then 07 08, to be honest, that was just us being meaty as hell at the start and the end of the season. That Wigan 1 1 draw. The, the Bolton, I think, was it 1 1 or 2 2 last game of the season? Ugh. Ugh. Way, way to throw away a title like that. So 07 08 was so disappointing. Because that team was good enough for a treble. And we just fumbled it. Uh, but uh, fucking Barnsley in the FA Cup, we lost to Barnsley in the quarterfinals. We lost to Tottenham in a final. Oh my goodness, we lost to Spurs in a final. You know what, 07 08, we weren't robbed actually. Yeah, we're not even running that agenda. Not even to clap back. Nah, we, we deserve that. Like, at least, nah, man. Mate, they don't turn us. And the worst thing that my football club facilitates that. That's what I say when I say, where Chelsea's little bitch, the evidence is there, it's clear daylight. I'm we own United. I can run with that one. I can run with that. Fuck Sancho as well, wanting to no, go there. Bro. Instead of going to Juventus, you, you should have gone to Sancho, fucking Juventus, Juventus mate. Have... Oh, he wants to go to London. He wants to be in London with his guys, man. He's home. He's home. He's happy. He's settled. Already settled into life in London. Come on, bro. Man, you can't be doing up F Sancho. You, you, go go after Ineos. Go after the Glaziers. Go after Ten Hag. Ten Hag's the one that decided... To favourite Rashford, even though he was going out on the piss every night while he was dropping four out of tens. And then he wants to pick fights with Sancho. Be annoyed at Ten Hag. Don't be annoyed at Sancho, man. Come on, bro. Fuck Sancho as well, wanting to nah, go there. Bro. Instead of going to Juventus, you should have gone to Sancho, fucking Juventus, 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 mate. You should have gone to Juventus, mate. Sorry, sorry. Instead of him going and going, no. oh, yeah, I used to support this what team. You? Fuck you, you, you little prick. You? Fuck you, you little shit. Fuck him. Say, fuck him. Fuck him, man. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him, mate. He could have stayed and fought for his place. And when the manager don't rate him. Fuck that manager, mate. Fuck the manager. There we go. Go. The blame is on the manager, mate. There we the go. The manager said there's better quality out there in Anthony. And no, there is. isn't. Don't talk to him about Anthony. That one trick fucking pony. Get the fuck out of the club as well. I'm dying, so, yo. That so was Anthony's hilarious. allowed to stay, but Sancho has got, to, he's got to be kicked out. This is up front with me, Simon Jordan. I believe there are a lot of vacuous, uninformed, unchallenged okay, opinions have, out there. Yep, 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 yep. Is that how it is? Is that how it is? That's what kind of a football club we are, innit? Anyway, man, I can't lie to you. It's on you, Ineos. You've allowed this. You fucking allowed this to happen. 23 million. There we go. We've got right back to that. He had the little head loss over Sancho, I guess. We got back to Ineos and the Glazers. There we go. There we go. 23 million. You're taking the fucking piss. Uh, I mean, and we got that fraud of a footballer, plastic fucking footballer, Mason Mount, that's with the number it. seven. Yeah. I think <laughs> that... If that, I swear to it, I won't be moaning about this now. If that... <laughs> it went right back to Mount. <laughs> I don't blame him as well. 55 million unwarranted. Number seven shirt unwarranted. They could have gone for free if they just waited a year. I don't blame him. But the fire went straight back to Mount again. That is beautiful. That is beautiful, man. If that didn't happen, if we didn't have, if we didn't have a plastic fucking footballer, right, broken clock, Mr. Sicknow, if we didn't have him, I won't be moaning. Yeah. I won't be moaning. Yeah. But he's wearing a number seven. Mm. Fuck him, man. I'm fucking you while you're there as well. <sighs> Listen, man, Chelsea. Fucking hell, mate. You know what I mean? Last five robbery. minutes. Say, Go on, talk to us, Saeed. Talk to us. I, robbery. Daylight robbery, man. Daylight robbery. I know you can't do that many times in, in the season, mate. No. If Chelsea fans, if you think that this is a win and that you're going to do that... Right, it's, a win, record, it's a win, though. It's a win. Mate, at a ground like that, bro, you go out there three there, points. I, I, I've been there with United, mate. When you think we can... You can't build on that. You can't build. Nah, they got to play better than that. You can't build. But they had no that. Enzo Fernandez. They had a couple of players out. You know what I mean? Like, that they probably want. Now the they got Gusto. No, we'll talk about the actual players that make the. You know what I mean? Like Gusto, Reese James out. You've had Fingy out as well. Enzo. They, they had a bit of a core of their team out. But again, like I said to you, injuries. Bournemouth. We have to give yeah. credit to Bournemouth. We're not giving enough credit to Bournemouth. Areola and what they did over there. They kept him. They pegged him in, man. But they got a last minute winner. But that's what. You do when you have players off the bench. And Kunku is a very good option off.
Which is why we need to say thank you to Manchester United, because you just gave us an absolute gem to utilise off the bench. Another agenda I heard on Sancho, oh, he's gassed after 60 minutes, oh, he's terrible after 60 minutes. Okay, if that's the case, then he can be our little um, super sub off the bench. That ain't no problem to me. I just hope Sancho um, continues running performances like he did against Bournemouth, or even raises the bar from that, because if he can, boy. <laughs> The creativity that we are about to see this season is going to be spoken about for a while. Going forward, like I'm very confident in our team. All we need is the number nine and we're good. It's just the questions over the defense, but we'll see how that's done over the last few weeks. There was one video um, I wanted to run through before we wrap up. Just one from Rance. Shout out to Rance because he called this from the start. United failed Jade and Sancho, bruv. Not the other way around. I'm glad he didn't apologize to that bull f blood. Sancho's got man eating grass, bro. The right. guy is still the second, created the second most amount of chances for Manchester United yeah, in the last three seasons. And he's not played any minutes, bro. The guy was creating chances and we weren't taking them because the team was letting him down, bruv. He's the archetypal Man United player, bro. He's a box office, bro. Most take-ons or something in the Champions League semi-final. We're f***ing lucky if he comes back to our football club. We don't deserve him the way we treated him, bro. This brother is an enemy of football, this Ten Hag, bro. Fact. This guy don't like footballers. And I'm watching him do a similar thing to Amad Diallo right now as well. Jaden outperformed Kylian Mbappe tonight, bro. It's been 16 years, the last time since a player completed more drills. Oh, that's what he meant about coming back. Because that was from the Dortmund second leg against PSG. PSG. Or the first leg, one or the other. Do feel for Radso. He's been calling this from the start. He said as soon as Sancho leaves, it's curtains. Brother! You know what to do, man. You know what to do. You're, you're basically Chelsea anyway at this point. I'll run you a free shirt from Jersey's FC if you want it, man. I got you, my guy, my bro. But, guys, here's the end of the first episode of Carefree Reacts. Let me know what you guys feel about this um, content. Let me know if you want to see any improvements. Whatever you feel about this video, let us know. But we will see you guys tomorrow. Um, there'll be something. There'll be something live. So keep a lookout for that. Big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that. Up the Chels. Up the Chels. And also, thank you, Man United. Thank you, my guys.